Well, the DAZN Boxing Show is on the road once again as we count down to this weekend's domestic dust-up as Tyler Denny puts his European middleweight title on the line against the always game Felix Cash making his ring return after 18 months out this Saturday live and exclusive on DAZN. This Saturday is all about Birmingham. It's all about, of course, the main event. This man here, Felix Cash, 18 months out of the ring, returns into the backyard of the champion, Tyler Denny. And what about the 147 pound matchup between Lewis Crocker and Connell Walker? Can't wait for that. Big fight for Cameron Vong against Jeff Afori. And a brilliant, brilliant domestic dust up for the British and Commonwealth Championships between Shannon Ryan and Emma Dolan. Kingdom Saudi Arabia, Mr. Turkey Al Sheikh, His Excellency. Watch out, there's going to be a big knockout and I want to be there. First plane over to Saudi this, this autumn. What are you saying, Eddie? Yeah, well, I'll say Saturday first. What are you saying, no. Eddie? Come on, what are you oh, saying? Like that, you know. I think Conor's a good fighter, but I don't think he's as good as what he thinks he is. And he's talked a lot of the whole way through about me. Do you know what I mean? And, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, he's saying, like, I'm overlooking him and stuff and, like, thinking about, like, fights after this. Any, any interviewer who's asked me about a fit after this, I say, I'm fully focused on, on Saturday here. Do you know what I mean? I, I, haven't, I haven't posted anything about the next fight after this. And Connor Walker is my focus right now. And, and uh, I've had a great camp, and that's where my confidence comes from. Tomorrow night, co-main event, Lewis Crocker against Connor Walker on Saturday night. Sorry, it's going to be a fantastic fight, as is this one, the European Middleweight Championship. The champion, Tyler Denny, against Felix Cash. It's a brilliant, brilliant fight, so important for both men. And with the middleweight division really opening up right now, shots at the World Championship available, of course, Carlos Adames, the WBC champion, Yanni Beck, the WBO champion, Lara, the WBA champion, all of these guys available for shots. We'll start with a challenger, Felix Cash. Felix, welcome. 18 months out of the ring, quite remarkable. You're here, people, I guess, questioned if you'd be here. We knew you'd be here. You look fantastic. Massive night for you. How excited are you to get back in a ring in such a big test on Saturday? No, I'm very excited, uh, very excited um, to be back in the ring on Saturday. Um, you know, really enjoying, enjoying fight, even fight week, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying soaking all in. I'd like to say thank you for, for you, Eddie, and, and, and Matroom for, you know, um, sticking in there with me, you know, uh, when I've been out of the ring 18 months and uh, giving me, um, uh, obviously, the European title show and winning the press bids. Um, but like I say, I'm looking forward now to Saturday night and uh, getting my hands on that European title and making up for um, lost times. And like you, say, like you said, um, the middleweight division um, is opening up and uh, getting a shot at world title. It's a bit of a shame, really, because I've been around Felix for a few days and, you know, we had that back... He, he, he seems like an alright character and he's got a nice little story going for him now, like he's been out the ring. He's troubled with I'm this. I'm a likeable fella. And he's going to do all that for nothing because he can get smashed on Saturday. You know I, mean? <laughs> I feel bad for him, man, but this, this is the game we're in. That, those 18 months, do you, do you play into that? I mean, even previously, obviously, he was on a good run, great performance against Denzel Bentley, but we can't ignore the fact that it's not easy coming back from what he's come back from and the 18 month layoff as well, and coming into your backyard as well. He really has to have that challenger mindset on Saturday, but you seem full of confidence. Yeah, I'd like to say, fair play to him, man, fair play. But like, he, he, he's got some catching up to do because at the time when he, he took Bentley out, he was meant to be onto world titles and stuff by now. And um, he's, he's I'll, I'll not... get you out of the way on Saturday. I'll be straight, straight back in the mix, won't I? He's not going to do it. Ignore him. Ignore him, mate. He's getting a bit excited and he thought it's coming. He, he, he can, he's thinking about the weigh-in day. He's struggling at the weight already. He's thinking about the weigh-in, getting excited. But, um, is, that, but, is that what you're hoping, is it, that I'm struggling at the weight? Is that, no, that, it makes is no that difference. chance you think you got from struggling at the weight? No difference. It? it makes no difference to me. I, that, I, I'm on my way. So that's is that, that. is that what you're concerned about, me, me struggling to make the weight? I've got no concerns about your weight. You can well, come in whatever weight you want, mate. Well, you, you mention it then. You, you, you're you keep mentioning me struggling at the weight. Yeah, do I keep because mentioning it? Because I'm too big, is it? Do I look big, do I? Nah, you're yeah. worried. Well, I'm really worried, man. What am I worried about? I thought you would be. I'd be worried about that. I cut on the top of your head, that's what I'd be worried about. I've got the receipts for that, I'll take that back. And you, and you keep talking about smashing people, who you've ever actually smashed? I'm gonna smash I've never seen you knock anyone that. out in my life. you like you got an egg and splatted it on your head, that's been smashed on your head. Do you know what I mean? That's, see the state of your head. face. All right, good one, mate. For the European middleweight title, this is a fantastic night of boxing on Saturday. Great crowd, great night. Thanks to everybody for attending the course game for everyone. Emmanuel Daisy, big heavyweight prospect as well. Muhammad Ali on a great run back with Anthony Crawler. Look out, of course, for Hamza Uddin. What a talent. 
Ibrahim Suleiman, the whole of Birmingham coming out to watch this rise. Fantastic fight. Akib Fiaz against Kane Baker as he rolls the dice for the last time. Jeff Afori against Cameron Vong. British and Commonwealth Super Flyweight Championships on the line, of course, between Emma Dolan and Shannon Ryan as well. And what about the welterweight matchup? Connell Walker against Lewis Crocker is going to be a war. Main event as well. Brilliant, brilliant fight. Felix Cash against Tyler Dennis. An incredible show on Saturday night. Well, as we've just seen there, Darren, the, the face-offs, and so many face-offs of good fights as well, just leads it to being a very exciting card on Saturday. That's exactly what we've got. It's a stacked, solid domestic card in Birmingham. How can you not like this card? We've got a bit of everything. Um, the lads at the beginning, extremely talented. Right the way through, we've got a bit of history. We've got a thunderous, unbelievable clash between two beasts. Any words, blood, guts, yeah, thunder, exactly. fireworks, in the it's all support. of it. Exactly, in the chief support. And then we've got a brilliant main event where the winner really pushes on to something massive. Well, let's start by talking about that main event. The first defence of his European middleweight title, a belt you were a two-time European middleweight champion, yeah. of course, Mr. Darren Barker, in case you didn't know. Uh, Tyler Denny, first defence for him against Felix Cash. Now, in terms of the question marks around this fight, Tyler Denny, on the, the run of his life, is the man with the momentum, isn't he? Beat Brad Pauls, beat Brad Ray, he's on a good run, beat Signani to become champion last time out. Felix Cash, on the other hand, polar opposite, yeah. really, in, in the, coming off the, the most difficult chapter of his professional journey. Had a really tough fight with Madiev, didn't he, when he was down, I think, three times in that fight at Ali Pali. Had one eight-rounder, and now I was in box for 18 months. Make your case, Darren, for, for both men. Well, look, I'll start with a champion. Plenty of form, plenty of self-belief. Listening to him at the presser, really believes that he's just a step ahead in every department. Um, yeah, I think the self-belief for me is the, the main thing that I'm taking away from Tyler Denny at the minute. It's so evident. But Felix Cash has showed us so much promise uh, in the past. Um, a very talented fighter. Looks very happy. A happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. Alongside a new coach, Adam Booth. Um, but we want to see Felix Cash showing us the kind of cash that we see against Denzel Bentley, destroying him in three rounds. The, the one that made a lot of us stand up and go, wow, he could be a future world champion. It's there somewhere. It's there. It's about extracting it. Will we see it Saturday? I'm not sure. 18 months is a long time out of the ring. But for the winner here to really push on, I think perhaps more than the win, you've got to look good. You've got to look good. So the win is the most important thing, but if you can couple that with a very good performance, you make a case for putting yourself in line for a, for a big shot at something. Do you think that will be more so the case for Felix Cash? Because when he beat Denzel Bentley and he, and he won the British title, everyone was talking about him as being a real future star of the middleweight division. Speaking to him earlier this week, it's like you say, winning is what matters. He, it's a European title he's wanted for a long time, but this for him is also a chance to remind everyone that he's well and truly back. That's yeah, when I say, look, the, the win, obviously the most important thing, but I think out of the two of them, I think it'd be Felix Cash that will want to put on a dominant, eye-catching, uh, head-turning display just to get his career back on track, show everyone, oh, OK, you, you were sleeping on me, was you? Now, nah, look, I'm back, uh, and this is how good I still am. Um, so when you, when you put all of that in the box, uh, in the ring, and... Um, they get down to business and they box, you usually get a very, very good fight because it's, it's uh, a must-look-good, must-win fight for both. Do you expect Adam Booth to have changed too much? No, not really. Fine-tuned really. a few things, got, got him right mentally as but well. Let, let's make no bones about this. If he wasn't pulling his weight, he wasn't looking good, wasn't doing what he was told in that gym, Adam Booth wouldn't have him. He wouldn't suffer it. He doesn't need to. Uh, and that says a lot, I think, and shows a lot. Shows us that Felix Cash is certainly, as far as work ethic is concerned, is back. Um, and I can't wait. Only his second Southpaw. He's boxed as a professional. Yeah, interesting. Well, is, that, is that a factor worth talking about? If you're a very, very good fighter, then no, in my opinion. Because uh, you adapt, you learn, you know what to do when fighting a Southpaw. But Tyler Denny is an awkward Southpaw because he's... He shows us a bit of everything. He's a jack of all trades. He can rough it uh, and get stuck in if he needs to. I think he punches a little harder than his record suggests. He can be awkward. He can move. He's nimble when he has to be. He'll fire a, a southpaw left hand out of nowhere. 
Um, so he's a bag of tricks. So it's down to Felix Castro, I think, to be the aggressor but not get dragged into his fight. I I'm really, really, really looking forward to who holds centre ring. I'm pretty sure Felix Castro is going to look to be the dominant fighter out of the two. But will Tyler Denny, being the champion, being at home, match that? If he does, it's a, it's a great fight. Yeah, a lot on the line on the both. The prize, the European middleweight title. That your main event Saturday night live on the zone. Well, here's a little reminder of what's coming your way on Saturday night. Fresh off his blistering debut knockout win, Hamza Udin makes his second professional ring walk against Julio Camerso. Shannon Ryan and Commonwealth champion Emma Dolan are set to make history when they collide for the inaugural British Super Flyweight title over 10 two-minute rounds in the battle of the unbeatens. After Jordan Flynn was unfortunately forced out through injury, in steps Jeff Afori, who now collides with Cameron Vong over 10 super lightweight rounds. The co-main is a welterweight war as big punching Lewis Crocker takes on Connor Walker for the WBA international title. Do not blink in that one, leading you into the main event. The European middleweight title on the line. It's Tyler Denny versus Felix Cash. On June 22nd in Birmingham, for me, one of the cards of the year, top to bottom. Felix Cash challenges for the European middleweight title against local lad Tyler Denny. Well, I'm going to finish him and give him a beat down. I don't think he's for anyone like me. I think he's in for a shock. An unbelievable welterweight matchup. Connor Walker takes on Lewis Crocker. I'm a horrible piece of work. I'm a horrible man to be in the ring with, so I'm here to ruin the party. I'm too big, too strong, too smart, too fast. This guy would have to kill me to win this fight. And don't forget as well, Shannon Ryan goes for the British and Commonwealth Championships against Emma Dolan. You know, Emma and I will be the first females to fight for the British title and, you know, this will go down in history. Huge night in the Midlands, June 22nd. Well, you aren't going to want to miss this one. Make sure you join us on DAZN this weekend. Main card action from Birmingham gets underway at 7 p.m. on Saturday. And for those across the pond, that's 2 p.m. Eastern time. DAZN is the only place to be. Hey, champ. I know why you're here. You're a born winner, the top dog. You have a proper punch on you. It only takes one, eh? But I know you're not all about throwing haymakers. You know your bobs from your weaves. And you know the zone's got over 150 live events every year. Over 150. Proper stacks. All the action, the chaos, the comebacks, the non-stop knockouts. Big fights every week. So get those gloves back on. Together, we're boxing royalty. The zone. Undisputed.